This stone wall is a useful reference for here. You follow that for a ways. We came from this direction. And now we're heading over Merrimack Word and veering away from the stone wall. gallivanting through some upland stuff. <laughs> the motorized massing in the distance could almost be a extended mechanical American style home or something. We're already at a time when the most sentient migratory creatures have gotten out of here. So the crew that will be with us through the winter is settling down, enjoying the peace and quiet and lack of habitat competition. It's the season of chickadees. Uh, a nice straightaway beckons. And we came from that away. Here's a side trail going down into the whole Doyle property. And here's our beloved Bay Circuit. It's following a meandering but vaguely straight run off in the direction of High Plains Avenue and Haggett's Pond. And there's the way we came from, looking back towards Andover Center. We're skirting a residential zone, some kind of interesting kettle hole basin down there. And here we are, wending our way ever Merrimackward.
Huh. A little benchy thing. <laughs> a little vernal stream bridge crossing. This is the way we came. See an impressive white oak over there. Another Esker segment. And this is our road to the Merrimack. And we came from this direction. You have an interesting line of stone wall at an angle to this little bridge. Lots of moss covered boulders marking a vernal stream course. Another stoutly built high quality boardwalk and trails redolent with elegance. Ooh, and even more venerable vernal stream boardwalk bridge next to a well-mined stump of an evident pine. Looks like maybe there's an oak the center chewed right out of it. Whoa, this looks like it was hit by lightning. Yeesh. <laughs> Who knows? That's one scary split. And the base circuit indicator blaze is just where you'd want it to be. Oh my. This thing got clobbered by something. Yeesh. Wouldn't have wanted to be here. <laughs> 